What's up guys? So today we're doing a highly requested video on how I roll a bag. I get a lot of comments asking me if I can break down how I throw a roll bag. I'm not no professional at this. I'm still learning to try to get it consistent, but I'll show you my tips and tricks of how I throw a roll bag. So I'm gonna break it down into a couple steps right now for you guys to be able to achieve that back loaded back to be able to get the roll shot that everybody wants. So for the first step, just get your butterfly grip, get the two wings, however you really hold it, pretty much good. I like the butterfly grip. The real first step comes in to getting your elbow to come inward. You kind of want to snap your elbow towards you. And then the second thing you need to focus on is getting your pinky higher than your thumb. So when you come, you're getting underneath the bag. Everyone just throws straight and gets a flat hand for a flat bag. But this you're coming underneath and you're kind of flicking up and scooping underneath. A lot of people say it's like turning a doorknob. As you come in, you turn the doorknob. I just say you scoop underneath so it goes elbow in, pinky higher than your thumb and you snap upward and out, I guess, or I guess it would be in. You snap inward, and then that's what's gonna get you that back rotation, the back angle that you need for it to slap down on the board to get that pop up for the roll shot. All right, so the second big thing for a roll shot is placement on the board. You don't wanna to land too close, you're gonna hit the blocker and your bag's just gonna die, possibly hit them in the hole, which we don't want. If you land too far away from the bag, the bag's gonna pop up, it's gonna to get to its side, but it's gonna fall right back down. It's almost landing in that sweet spot for it to catch the bag. So you wanna be about two to four inches, I guess, in front. Depending on how fast your bag is, you'll kind of find the sweet spot of what you're throwing. That back loaded bag is gonna come, hit the board, and it's gonna pop up on its side and then it's gonna catch the bag and that's what's gonna keep the roll going all the way into the hole. That's why placement on the board is actually really important for this shot to know where you need to land in front of their blockers. If you guys are trying this, carpet is probably the easiest to achieve this with. I know you can still do it with pro snipers and stuff, but I find it, it's easier to learn with carpet. There's gonna be some bags that are obviously easier than others and depends on board condition. If it's sticky, it's also gonna be easier to get it to pop up. I would just play around with it, find what bag you like, depending on your board conditions, and then you can start practicing your rollers. So the steps are, you're gonna get your grip, snap that elbow in, get the pinky higher than thumb, and it looks like this. So that was kind of it. I didn't get as much back as I wanted, so I'm gonna try it again for you guys. And that's what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna try to do it one more time for you guys. The first one wasn't super pretty, second one was a lot better, but this is what she looked like. So that's gonna happen. It's gonna roll over the hole sometimes. I'm not the best at this. I'm still trying to get consistent with it, but I'm gonna try to do it one more time, and this is what it should look like. All right, guys, that last shot wasn't the most beautiful, but it did roll over the bags. It got up and over. Those are gonna happen, especially when you're starting to learn. You're just trying to get more and more consistent with it, and you're just trying to feel out where it needs to land on the board for the bag that you're using. The only thing I would recommend, just like in the flat bag video, just stand 10 feet away from your board and really just get that back loaded bag and once you feel comfortable at 10 feet, I would just scoot back to 15, and then 20, and then 27, all the way back, and then you'll be throwing roll shots in no time. I know when I first started, I would just walk around my house and literally just throw it in front of me, just to get that feel. I'd throw it 15, 10 feet in front of me, and then I came out here and started throwing it on the board, and that's how I was able to achieve a roll bag. Pretty much, I could throw a backloaded bag almost in like two days, because I just sat there and just kept walking around my house. So that's gonna end today's video. Today I was using the Costello X, probably my favorite bag that I have found. It's the most hole friendly that I can roll, I can cut, I can do everything I want with it. I recommend picking yourself up a set of these for sure. If you guys need anything from Black Sheep, use my code BRIZ10 for 10% off, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.